chest up, shoulders back. This is Revival Fitness, your home for gains and brains. And we really need to start teaching the young people of this country better. The test scores are a complete disaster. These kids communicate as if a cat walked across a keyboard. And there is an ever-growing list of illnesses, both mentally and physically. But thankfully, we're going to be saved by three mega-influencers who are here to change the lunch game forever. Or so they say. So, this is the new brand called Lunchly. It is by KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast. So these guys have been selling, if you want to call it food, for a little bit now. Mr. Beast came out with, I think they're called the Mr. Feastables or Beastables or something like that. I tried, actually some of his cookies a while ago. Yeah, those things tasted like shit. But I think he has some other food products as well. And then Logan Paul and KSI came out with Prime. Those of you that watch pro wrestling see this stuff advertised all over WWE screens. And I'll tell you what, Logan Paul is a great wrestler. But he might be an even better businessman. Because the main demographic for all three of these guys is most likely kids into teenagers. And these guys are going to make tons of money from this stuff. I mean, their overall influence alone is going to guarantee huge profits, I would assume. But now we're going to dig into the actual ingredients and go into what's inside, not just the marketing they use. And see if this is something that you should be giving your kids to take to school for lunch. Or just feeding them in general. And some of you that are older, but you still like to eat kids' snacks often, grow the hell up. Alright, so here we are on the Lunchly website. It says, have fun for lunch. Created by the creators. Mr. Beast does not look happy in this photo. Wasn't he cancelled like two weeks ago for something? Did that just stop? Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables crunch yeah! bar. Yeah! Both are going to, I would assume, be nothing but chocolate, some puffed rice, some sugar added. But the Feastables one is made by Mr. Beast, so it gets a yay. What's the family that goes to Costco and it's like the Big Dad? Is his name Big Justice or is that the one who's younger? I know the Rizzler is the really heavy one. People like them give us Italians a bad name. Like, we're obsessed with food. I'm not gonna deny that, but... You don't have to have your kids be that big man. Okay, I was a husky kid. I played football, I lost some of the weight. Maybe not take them to Costco every freaking day. Our pizza uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. Ooh. Yeah, that is a fair point. Come in close and look at the queso cheese in Lunchly versus whatever that is. Oh, Drip gosh. versus stick. I like my cheese drippy, bro. A lot of the cheese you're gonna see in these cheaper products, it's kind of mystery cheese. It has this weird emulsifier texture to it and it probably lasts longer than she should. This is a Lunchly salsa right here. Look at the consistency, the texture. And this is Lunchables. This, hey, look, it's watery. It's, I can't even look at that. I mean, he's like pouring it out of the container. Look, it's watery. Like, yeah, man, yours would have probably done the same thing. Dude, Logan cracks me up, man. He's a heel in wrestling, meaning he plays a bad guy. Naturally, everybody boos him because he's an outsider to begin with, but you got to give him credit, man. He really is just... He's insufferable in his own way, but he's good at it. With 400 milligrams of electrolytes, my god! So that sounds nice, but if you want a real electrolyte supplement, I suggest Hydrate from Transparent Labs. I take one scoop before every workout. I like the lemon-lime flavor myself. One scoop of this stuff is packed with calcium, magnesium, sodium from rock salt in the Himalayas, high-quality potassium, coconut water. It also includes one gram of taurine and senactive for performance boosting during training as well. And you can use code REVIVAL to save 10% on any order at transparentlabs.com. Lunchly is changing the grab-and-go game with an innovative approach that prioritizes quality ingredients and delicious flavors. We're here to fuel your fun from the lunchroom to the break room. Well, a break room implies work. I don't think a lot of kids eating this are going to have a job. Driven by our commitment to great quality and taste, we're confident there's no better value on the market. Remember, leave no crumbs. With the equal sign, end parentheses, smiley face. I have not seen one of those in a long time. Okay, it looks like these are the main flavors. This one is called the pizza, in quotation marks. Maybe that's because that's how kids would say it. Mom, I want the pizza. Next, we have the Fiesta nachos. And then we have the turkey stackums. So let's go into the full deets as they call it. The party you earned, the ingredients you deserve, 
Enter the one, the only, the pizza. Crafted with premium toppings you can trust. I don't think you need to have a comma there. Each Lunchly box brings you 12 grams of protein per package and 400 milligrams of electrolytes per prime hydration. We've got 360 calories per one package. 15 grams of fat. I love how they still put the saturated on there. Like, that's the one you have to be concerned about. 710 megs of sodium. Well, they said the electrolytes were from the prime hydration. I guess they don't count this packaging. 44 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 12 sugars, including 7 grams of added sugar. Then we've got 12 grams of protein. So I know a lot of people, especially in fitness, their only understanding of nutrition is just calories and macros. That's all they think about. They think nutrition is just a math problem, which it's not. If you would like to learn much more about nutrition, all of the variables that actually go into it, how to build more muscle and less fat and get the body you want faster, check out the Body Composition Bible, linked down below. Available on my site now. I got all the details you need, all kinds of references, far more in-depth than the typical fitness content you're gonna see. A lot of you guys always struggle to lose fat, and you don't know why. Okay, let's go to the ingredients now. Here is what really matters. First one, cherry freeze flavored with other natural flavors drink. That's the name of the drink. Water, citric acid. We've got some dipotassium phosphate, natural flavor, sucralose, gum, arabic, ester gum, some vitamins added. I guess that's the prime one. I don't know what else it's going to be. Pizza crust. Enriched bleached wheat flour, typical water, vegetable shortening, inter-sterified soybean oil, hydrogenated soybean oil, not good. Contains 2% or less of salt, sugar, yeast, vegetable gums, cornstarch, guar gum, xanthan gum, calcium, propionate, monoglycerides. A lot of those ingredients you're going to find in any typical store bread that you buy as well, even if you don't realize it. A lot of people think like, oh, it says wheat bread or whole wheat or multi-grain. Read the ingredients. Most bread has tons of ingredients, including added sugar and some seed oils as well. The seed oil thing will be in the comments here too. There's nothing wrong with seed oils, bro. Yeah, you're ignorant, it's okay. Pizza sauce. Water, tomato paste, sugar, modified cornstarch, salt, highly refined. They say it straight up like that. Soybean oil, at least they're honest. Citric acid, garlic powder, onion powder, spices, preservatives, xanthan gum, natural flavor. Looking very nutritious so far. Mm, it's not. Low moisture, part skim mozzarella cheese, part skim milk, salt, enzymes, anti-caking blend, potato starch and cellulose, very standard for most cheeses. Smoked, uncured pepperoni made with pork. Cabago, over here. No nitrates added except for those naturally occurring nitrates in sea salt and cultured celery extract. Man, this is a mouthful. Pork, sea salt, cane sugar, spiced paprika, cultured celery, paprika, garlic powder, cherry powder, rice concentrate, spices, lactic acid starter culture. Oh, and it even comes with a milk chocolate puffed rice bar at the end. So you can wash down all that refined flour in the seed oil with some sugar. This is pretty standard processed food from what it looks like. It's not the worst thing you could possibly eat, but I would not necessarily recommend this. And, I mean, the best ingredients in here, purely speaking, is probably going to be the cheese. You could say some of the pork. This is something that parents are going to be giving to their kids probably every day. Whether they don't think about it and say, oh, here you go, buddy, that's what he wanted, or whether they think it's like, oh, this is a good one because I saw some advertisement, it has less of this, more of this, whatever. This is not what you want to give a growing body and growing mind. How we stack up, now we can compare it to normal Lunchables. This is Lunch Lee's The Pizza versus Lunchables Pizza with Pepperoni Meal Kit with Capri Sun Fruit Punch Drink and Crunch Candy Bar. Okay, so they're basically copying the same exact little meal set just with their version. So Lunchables has one more gram of protein. 360 versus 390 calories, inconsequential. They're pushing the electrolyte thing hard here. 400 milligrams of electrolytes just in the Prime versus 55 in the Capri Sun. There's some differences here, but this is not dramatic. All right, next up, let's look at the Fiesta Nachos. Ditch the cafeteria line. With high quality queso, Queso is pretty darn good. Enjoy our fun-filled tray of corn chips and two bold dips. Now that's nacho standard school lunch. Ha ha ha. All right, nutrition facts look very similar to the last one. This one has four grams of fiber. This one has strawberry banana prime. Same things, all right, tortilla chips. Ground yellow corn, vegetable oil. 
One or more of the following sunflower, corn, safflower, or canola. All garbage. Salt. Queso Blanco cheese. Water, cheddar cheese, milk protein, modified cornstarch, 2% or less of. Red bell pepper, sodium phosphate, salt, maltodextrin, jalapeno pepper, white distilled vinegar. I use that to clean my stainless steel cookware. Is that safe to consume? Yeast extract, natural flavors, sorbic acid, sodium alginate, xanthan gum, lactic acid, calcium chloride, dehydrated hatch green chili pepper spices, then there's some color, and the salsa. Tomato puree, diced tomatoes and tomato juice, roasted red bell pepper concentrate, sugar, potato flour, salt, dehydrated red bell pepper, natural flavor, corn oil, sugar, 2% or less of, looks like some spices. And then there's also a milk chocolate bar within this one as well. Spike up your sugar and get all energized at lunch, then go back to class and fall asleep and miss everything and fail and have to repeat the seventh grade. All right, last one, the turkey stackums. No matter how you slice it, you're having fun for lunch. Well, that right there is painfully true. I mean, that's how most people view eating. It's pleasure seeking. It's a dopamine hit. They don't really care about the overall nutrition. And people in fitness have the alleged workaround for this with the so-called anabolic food. They make glorified snack foods and desserts and treats and remove the fat and add protein. And it's supposed to be healthier for you because they made those adjustments. Also, don't forget all the sweeteners they put in that end up wrecking their gut, and they're always still hungry despite all the fiber they eat, because everything's very lean. I have other videos on that as well, and I talk about that in the Body Composition Bible too. If you do not have control over your overall cravings, and if you're essentially always trying to trick your body, that could work in the short term probably, but long term, it's often not going to be sustainable, and oftentimes there's going to be some negative side effects to that. You also may become like the vast majority of fitness people and become addicted to diet soda because you have to constantly get your little sweet fix, but no calories are attached. That's why I sell these shirts that say Diet Cope, because the addiction to diet soda in this space for people that are allegedly so health conscious, it's frankly hilarious. Nutrition facts. Okay, so the turkey stackums have noticeably less calories than the other two. 12 grams of fat, half of that is saturated. 22 grams of carbs, that's where it's lacking compared to the other ones. 6 grams of added sugar, and 11 grams of protein. Ingredients, we've got the ice pop drink, so another version of Prime. Oven roasted turkey. Turkey, water, sea salt, vinegar, potato starch, cultured celery extract, cane sugar. It is very hard to escape added sugar in so many foods, at least in the United States, man. The stuff is in everything. It's just everywhere. Crackers. I think that's a racial slur. Enriched wheat flour, all those things added to it. Folic acid, high oleic sunflower oil, sugar, contains 2% or less of baking soda. I got baking soda. Monocalcium phosphate, corn syrup, cheddar cheese. We've got the milk, cheese culture, salt enzymes, and then some coloring. That's pretty standard. And then a milk chocolate bar once again on top of this. And it's available for around $4. Oh! Super affordable. Go give it a try. Okay. If you are trying to give your kid, or even just for yourself, I know some of you guys are older and are still going to eat this because you're appalling, quite frankly. For $4, if you want to get, well, better ingredients to begin with, I mean, what's like an easy snack you could provide? Let's just say for a student in this instance. $4, you could have like a small serving of yogurt, maybe a little bit of beef, maybe some hard-boiled eggs. If you want to throw in some fruit, perhaps, maybe an avocado, maybe some nice milk. This is why it appeals so much, because everything's pre-made, you just heat it up or throw it in the bag, take it to school, in the microwave, whatever it's gonna be, and it's easy. And there's that convenience factor too, but you gotta compare the quality of the ingredients, man. I mean, the reliance on these type of foods, this is why on a grand scale, and people always just say, oh, it's just the calories, bro, people just eat too much and don't move enough. That's all they talk about, like, that's their entire view of nutrition and metabolism and all these problems we face. Oh, it's just too much food, bro. Yeah, that's part of it for sure. Do you really think the quality of the food does not also have a big impact? I would argue more of an impact overall than even the total amount of food. Let's take two people on equal calorie diets, okay? One person eats 80% stuff like this. Another person eats 80% of just single ingredient foods. Do you really think after a given time period they're going to have equal body compositions? You think those have the same internal effects on the body? You think it's just all linear math and that's all that matters? If so, you don't know very much. But this has been it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to share this with somebody that needs to see it. Be sure to check out my training programs down below to stop wasting time and maximize your gains in the gym. 
and use my links down below to save money on some great products and services. And I will catch you guys next time.